Understanding plant litter decomposition is a key part of understanding the amount of carbon in the soil and its role in global warming. In order to appreciate the process of plant litter decomposition, it's important to understand the anatomy of a leaf. Leaves are made of many specialized cells, which determine its shape, size, and function. Surrounding each cell is a cell wall, and between each of the cells is an interstitial space. The cell wall surrounds the cytoplasm and intracellular components, most of which are leached out shortly after leaf fall. The cell wall supports the overall leaf structure, protects the cell, and separates the intracellular components from the extracellular environment. The inside layer is the plasma membrane. In between these two layers is the primary cell wall, which is the main target of decomposition. The three main components of the primary cell wall are cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Cellulose consists of sugars known as glucose. Each individual sugar molecule is linked together to form a long linear polymer. These long linear polymers group together to form a crystalline structure. Since cellulose consists of sugars, it's a high-energy food that microbes attack first in decomposition. Hemicellulose is a polymer made up of chains of sugar molecules, primarily xylose and arabinose. These are also high-energy foods. Hemicellulose consists of shorter chains and has a branch structure. Hemicellulose encases cellulose to form a microfibril and plays an important role in holding everything together. Lignin is a complex compound made of different kinds of phenol-based molecules, which are arranged in random patterns to form large polymers. Lignin traverses the spaces between cellulose bundles. It's a low-energy food, which requires a lot of work to break down and shields the high-energy food of cellulose and hemicellulose.